Hello everyone, I'm Katie, and today I'm going to talk about the tools and um, some of the goals that I have for getting into God's Word a little bit more deeply this year than I have last year. And so it's quite a tall pile, but it's just a couple different things that I really want to get focused in and just some more creative ways to help me Bible journal and get closer with God and into his word. So let's go ahead and move this pile over here. <laughs> it's a big pile. Okay. So the first thing that actually was not on the pile is this. And I got this at uh, Walmart a few years ago, but I started writing in it and I really love it. Let me just make sure there's nothing personal. I don't think there is. No, there's personal stuff on the other side, but this front page or front section has uh, verses that are either comforting to me, uh, verses that I feel like would help me during certain times. Um, I used to take this during uh, appointments, like at the doctors and stuff. I probably will start doing that again because it just helps me to just, you know, rather than have like the whole Bible with me, because um, sometimes I'm not sure what to look up when I'm out and about. This ju is just a handy way to put verses down that I just think will just encourage me and help me to just rely on and keep my focus on the Lord. So definitely have a lot of different verses. And so I would love to have this completely filled by the end of the year. Um, I'm actually pretty far. I don't, don't know how far I am. Not too far, but... Let's see, yeah, that's my last one. So Psalm 116.2 is my last one in here. And then I have all this space. I do have some other stuff written on the other side, but not much. So I do want to continue writing in this. This is a great, it, it does have a keychain, although I don't know how to like, I don't honestly think you can disconnect it. <laughs> um, you think you would be able to, but apparently not. Um, but you could put this on a keychain. You could just hook it onto your purse. Your purse has one of those hooks on the... Um, whatever it's called, the handles of your purse. I can't think of the word for that. But anyway, so yeah, so I definitely want to fill this in. This is one of my goals for this year to fill it with more and more Bible verses just to help encourage me and keep my focus on the Lord. So this is also a great tool for memorizing as well. If you're focused on trying to mem memorize more verses, um, this is also a great tool. So I will try to link this down below. I don't think it's at Walmart anymore, but I will try to find it online for you all. All right, and then um, another goal that I would like to do, this is my NI, NIV, uh, just the New Testament journaling Bible, uh, journal the word, journal, I can't talk today, <laughs> journal the word, and this one has um, single blank pages in between each text. Um, there is text on the back of each page, but there is a blank page on each side. Um, last year, I really did want to finish this entire Bible last year, but unfortunately I have a ton of pages left to do. But I did finish the entire um, book of Revelations. Jude, I think I finished. So I did finish quite, I didn't, I didn't finish Jude. I'm almost done with Jude. Um, and quite a few in First and Second Peter. So um, I definitely did accomplish quite a bit in here. So I don't really have a set goal. I mean, I was going to say I'd like to finish it this year, but honestly, I would love to journal and other things as well. So honestly, just maybe just finish like a couple books of the Bible, maybe like honestly just journaling maybe 10 books of the Bible, even if they're small ones, uh, just to, you know, have fun in God's word and just spend time with him. I think 10 books would be a good goal just to journal. And especially since these pages are like really, really, really small. This is the size of my hand. So the pages are very tiny. They're only like not even eight inches across. So they're super small and I don't have to be like super elaborate in any of my pages. So, you know, this isn't easy and fun. And honestly, going into this, I haven't done this in weeks, honestly, but this really helped me to relax and just spend time in God's word, find a verse that I wanted to journal and it was, it was fun and I want to do that again. So I think a goal would be probably about 10 books to finish in here and to study. All right, so the next one 
my words of the year, I have two this year, and that is love and joy, specifically God's love and joy for me and my love for him. So this I got specifically engraved with Garden of Love and Joy. This is my first garden Bible, and I was going to start it in the new year, but I guess my words of the year kind of started back in, I think I started this in November. I don't think I have the month written down. Oh, there's no date thing in here. I just realized that. I'll have to put that down but um, and figure out when I got this Bible, but I honestly think I started this like last November, and it's already got quite a few pages, and I love it. I mean, the space is absolutely great. There's enough space to write, but, you know, it leaves enough space to kind of just be a little creative, but, you know, I want to make it readable in here. I don't want to journal over anything in this Bible because this is for, specifically for reading and studying. This one, I did go a little bit over because I didn't realize my black lines were so thick, but I'm still able to understand it, so... Definitely wanted to get and grow more in this, and um, this is definitely one that I would like to get close to finishing because this is something that I want to concentrate on this year as this is going to help me grow in God's Word and just, you know, learn to read and study first and get creative after, even though sometimes I did get a little creative before. <laughs> but I definitely wanted to stop that and study first and then create after, so... That's my goal, and I hope to finish this Bible garden, which is my very first one next year. So that'll be a goal of mine to fill this up as much as I, as much as it can possibly hold. So that'll be a fun goal to just kind of reach, reach for my Bible, and have that reminder that I want to fill this, and I think it'll help me to just grow more in God's Word. So, all right, um, I don't have it with me yet. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get it. No, I'm not going to get it in time for this video, but I did order. My mom and I got a, a study book. I don't even know what it's on. I can't remember, but it's through our church for a um, woman's ministry. But we don't have those books yet, so I can't show them. But that is another tool that I'll be using. And I think we're starting it at the end of January or early February. All right, and then this is actually my reading journal. For my other YouTube channel, but it has a page in here, which I did, I did not mark, but I know it's in here. Where are you? There you are. So this is my Bible plan for the coming year, and I want to finish 30 books, so maybe 33. That's about half of the Bible. 33 specifically is half, um, but at least 30 books of the Bible, even if they're small, I just want to read and study 30 books of the Bible. So uh, this month I've been working my way through Genesis because that is our buddy read for a readathon that I'm doing on my other channel. I will like my other channel down below if you do want to check it out. But Genesis, I did just finish 2 Peter, so I'm actually going to put that in here as well. Um, or was it 1 Peter? Oh no, I forgot. <laughs> um, oh, and I took out my bookmark, but I think it was 1 Peter that I was trying to finish. Yeah, 1 Peter. So I did finish First Peter um, recently, so I can put that in here as well. But yeah, so that's my goal, and this is going to hopefully encourage me to um, mark those books of the Bible off, because I have this cute bookshelf that I made, and it'll be fun to fill in. So uh, me personally, I like doing stuff like this, and the Bible garden, and, and the, the art in this, because it helps me to remember that, hey, Bible's fun. And it encourages me to just get in there and just to embrace and love God's word. And we all study differently, and I love that. All right, so that's where I'm going to be keeping track of the books of the Bible that I read this year. I will update you at the end of the year, see how I did. Remind me, please, if you can. All right, so the next thing that I have is this one. And this is a devotional that I got, oh... I don't even know if I have a year here. Oh, I do. 2020. <laughs> um, yeah, I got myself this. Apparently, well, this is from Mom and Dad, so maybe they did get it for me. That's kind of funny because I remember looking. They must have, I must have said that I wanted it, and they were like, we'll give it to you as an Easter gift. Or maybe I said, can it be my, my Easter gift? So it was Easter gift 2020. And I remember, I don't usually reach for devotionals. 
but uh, God was pointing me out saying, go search on Amazon and other places and look at devotionals. So I was like, okay. And this one just literally screamed at me. Like it was saying by me and I knew God wanted me to have it. And so I haven't gotten very far. Um, I kind of like kind of jump back and forth. I don't go day by day because sometimes I have gone, I think like, let's see. I think I've done about, I can't remember. Oh, I did. I think I'm on day 29 because I have a little bookmark right here. Um, but that's how far I've gotten um, every page. So I still have a couple that I haven't journaled. Like I haven't journaled quite a few, but I have journaled some. But yeah, so a lot of the times though, I have just reached out and opened this to a random page or have gotten an order. But I would say honestly, 85 to 90% of the time I've opened this, it has been something that I've been going through and what God has been saying to me. So this book has meant a lot to me and my goal this year is to definitely read through this devotional and finish this up. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish journaling it, but I definitely at least want to read through it. So that is my goal. And I just thank the Lord that I found this book. Um, this is definitely something that um, definitely help, definitely will help. Okay. So the next thing, uh, this is just something fun that I had growing up and I got a new one because mine was kind of falling apart a lot actually um pages were coming out and so I was like you know what even though it meant a lot to me I'm just gonna get a new copy for myself and for my future kids so you've seen this before in one of my hauls and it is the picture bible and this is like the very honestly probably one of the original um ones so this one came out like in the um early 2000s or late Oh no, it says 1978 was the original one. Okay. <laughs> but I got mine like in maybe 19 something, 1996 roughly. I was quite young when I got it, but I loved this thing. And I had a paperback copy. So this is a hardcover copy. And I think it is a glued spine. I can't tell, but hopefully this book will not fall apart on me. But it did, it does lie flat as I open it up, so that's good. But this has um, books of the Bible in it in picture form. And this is a great tool for kids, especially when, you know, they're not quite at that age where they can read the Bible. And I just think this is an, a great added extra tool to kind of see the stories come alive. And they also have a different version called the Action Bible, which I haven't read yet, but I would like to try to read it at some point. But this is definitely one that I, I pretty much grew up with and I definitely would love to read it as I read through the Bible again. So um, I am in Genesis, so I have not um, gone through reading the first little parts because I'm up to I'm up to the flood in Genesis. So I can read I can read the little bit of Genesis right here, and it'll be a nice tool just to read side by side with my Bible. I think that'll be a fun and um, educational tool because I do love stories with pictures. I think it's great because um, I know a lot of people like they physically can't read because they just don't see the pictures and they don't understand it. So pictures really help a lot of people, not, not just children. So it's a great tool. All right. And then the last thing that I have is of course my planner, which is this thing. Oops. Sorry about the glare. <laughs> The glare is so bad. Um, but this thing, I, again, am behind by a week. I really need to control that because it's not good. Um, but yeah, so I am behind by a week, almost a week and a half. So I need to catch up in this planner because I promised myself I would not get far behind again. So last year I did catch up, but I was so far behind that it literally took me a very long time to catch up. So I don't want to do that again to myself and to you guys because I do love my planner. Um, I honestly realized that I don't really love it as much as I used to. Um, I don't understand why. Maybe it is because I did skip so many weeks last year that I just really, really wasn't in love with it anymore. Like it didn't help me to, to, um, to read my Bible daily like it did like I think the second year that I got it, it really helped me and it really, really did help with my growth. And 
just last year really didn't do it for me. So it kind of made me sad and I kind of want to get back into, into loving the planner. So maybe happy planner isn't for me anymore. I don't know. And maybe I need a new system because like my reading journal, I love my reading journal. It's a bullet journal. Maybe I'll go to that next year. I'm not sure yet. So, um, <laughs> pray for me that I'll find a system that works because, you know, maybe, maybe I need, need a new system next year. Um, I do like the idea though. I have been doing scripture writing. Um, I think I'm two days behind in that. So I will catch that up probably tomorrow because it's almost midnight here right now. But, but I do like that. I do like having that. And I, I showed you some ideas that I'll have, um, in here like some songs worship songs that I'll be listening to and stuff like that so hopefully I will be getting back into this and um, enjoying it a little bit more than I did last year all right so those are all the tools all of the kind of the, not necessarily goals but just things I want to do this year to help me get into God's word more so I think it'll be fun and let me know um, let me know what book of the Bible you're going to be studying this year, even if it's just one book or um, what you're studying currently. And um, just let me know any fun, any fun tools or tips that you have to study your Bible. I love to know. And I love to chat with you in the comments. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video.